If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, head on over to Mutt's store. Use code TD for 25% off. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another online CFM with the Fantasy Draft. I know all of you guys are asking when the next video for the YouTuber CFM is going to be. I'm currently waiting for some of the other guys to schedule their games and play. And that's kind of why I started this right here. It's got 32 people. The league is going to advance every 48 to 72 hours. We do got Walker. So if you guys want to check out his draft, I will put a link down below in the description. I hope we get a higher pick this time. We were at number 17 in the last draft. And like all the quarterbacks were gone and I do want to let you guys know my merch is officially out It's gonna be limited for two weeks. I absolutely love how it turned out on the hoodies and the cruise It's actually embroidered super amazing quality I think you guys will like it. So if you guys do want to check that out link is down below in the description I can feel it. I'm gonna get the number one pick. Oh, there's no way I got pick number 18 I had 17 in the YouTuber CFM. All the quarterbacks are gone. Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Watson, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers. Even Brady got picked. You guys were hating on me for taking him in like the fifth round of my other league. I am now on the clock. Another quarterback, Justin Herbert, just got picked. Number one player available. We got Gilly Lock, McCaffrey, Zach Martin. I think I'm going to do it. You guys got to remember, we're only doing this league for maybe a year or two. 92 speed, 99 man coverage, solid zone coverage. We're going to take Stephon Gilmore and just lock down everybody's number one wide receiver. On the clock for round number two, so pretty much every quarterback that was there in the last round is still there right now. We could go Tannehill. Best players on the board, Von Miller, Wagner, Bakhtiari. We could go with a really good running back like Kamara or Delvin Cook. I'm going to go with a young player that is going to develop like crazy. 91 speed, 95 hit power, 90 zone. I'm going to go Jamal Adams, and our secondary is just going to be insane. Madden has him ranked at 20th. We got him at 47. We're next on the board. James Robinson just got picked. Here's some of the top players on the board. Dude, Cameron Jordan is enticing. I don't think I'm going to take a quarterback until later on. Like, whoever we get is who we're just going to end up getting. I feel like I'm going to keep stacking defense. And I may go with another DB simply because I see so many people taking wide receivers. I want to go Jesse Bates or Minka Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick is an 88. He's got the superstar, you know, dev trait, 91 speed. But the thing about Jesse Bates, I'll show you his stats in a second. He has the lurker ability. He's only 23 years old. It says it's a good pick. He's, you know, ranked 51. He's got 89 speed, 92 zone coverage, 81 man, and 78 hit power. And you already know he's going to go up in overall as the season goes on. We're on the board next. So there's a few players I'm looking at. I'm kind of thinking maybe like an edge rusher because there's going to be a lot of people. They're going to get outside the pocket. They're going to want to scramble. We got guys like Zadarius Smith. Another guy I'm really thinking about is Shaq Barrett. 88 overall, superstar dev trait, 84 speed, 84 block shedding. Another guy I would hate to see slip by me, that is Dante Jackson. He's only an 82 overall. He's gonna develop a little bit, only 24, but he's got 96 speed and 80 man coverage. That is somebody that's gonna keep up with like the Tyreek Hills and players like that. I feel like there's a better chance that Dante Jackson falls to us. So I'm gonna go with Shaq Barrett. Once again, EA thinks it's a solid pick. Round number five, pick 18. I feel like I'm gonna keep going defense. Like I said, with the Shaq Barrett pick, I feel like people are gonna wanna, you know, get outside the pocket. I'm gonna take a left end that is just pure speed. And that is Montez Sweat. I'm gonna put him in a quarterback contain and yeah, we'll just let him do the rest. We just need to make it two more picks. I really wanna get Adrian Amos. Now my reasoning for this, he's got 92 speed, which is like the highest out of all the strong safeties left. He's got really good zone coverage. I'm gonna put Jamal Adams in the box. I'm gonna user him. And then Amos can actually be like, you know, our strong safety that's playing like center field. We're on the board. I want to say he's still there. No, he just got picked. There's no way. That is so unfortunate. So I'm going to go Michael Pierce, defensive tackle. This man is strictly to stop the run. 95 strength, 93 block shedding. Good play rec. Not sure if that really means anything when it comes to defensive tackles. 
But yeah, we're gonna take him. Didn't really know what to do with Amos getting picked. Literally like one pick before us. On the clock, round number seven. I'm gonna take one of the best players on the board. I don't know how he's still here. I took him in my last draft. That is AJ Brown, 23 years old. The dude is a monster. Six foot, 226. He's already like an 87 in my other league. 91 speed, 93 acceleration. He's got okay route running, but he's so good after the catch. On the clock in round eight, we've been doing this for over two hours. It has been taking forever. I'm starting to fall asleep and like forget who's on my team. I'm gonna go with the number five player on the board. Now I'm not just taking him because he's number five. Marcus May, six foot, about 210, 90 speed, which is like the best for the strong safeties that are left. 85 zone coverage and 87 hit power. Like I said, Jamal Adams, he's gonna be playing in the box for me. So Marcus May is going to be my actual strong safety. I got to go cornerback right here a thousand percent. So I play a lot of zone coverage. Would AJ Boye be a good pick? 89 speed, a little bit slow. 86 zone, not the greatest. What about Bradley Roby? He's got 91 speed, 83 zone, but his man is a little bit better. Let's go Jason Verrett. 91 speed, 86 zone, 89 jumping. Actually, you know what? He's only 5'10". Roby's 5'11". Oh, I don't know what to do right here. Just give me uh, We'll go Jason Verrett. I don't know. We'll, we'll switch it up. Why not? Round number 10, I am thinking running back. Kenyon Drake wouldn't be bad. I kind of wanted Ronald Jones, but it looks like he just got picked. I think I'm going to go with Hines. So he's 23. He's got star development. So he should get up to maybe like an 84 by the end of the year. He's got 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility. He's considered a receiving back. You guys know me. I love throwing to my running back. And we're gonna need to do a lot of it because our offense isn't very good. I need to take a fast cornerback and that is Avante Maddox. Look at his top three stats, agility, acceleration, and speed. He does have the star dev trait, so he's gonna develop at a faster than normal rate. I can't take any chances with all my players getting picked. I am gonna go quarterback for my next one. There's not much left right now. We have a 79 Big Ben, you know, Fitzmagic, Andy Dalton, Alex Smith, Nick Foles, Mitch Trubisky, Sam Darnold, Drew Locke. What do you guys think? Which of these quarterbacks can lead us to the promised land? You know who I'm thinking? Muddy Mitch is gonna be throwing some dots for us. So he's got 88 throw power, which is pretty good. And then he does have 84 speed, 87 excel, and 87 agility. I hope you guys are ready for some insane checkdowns because that's what's coming. I did notice while editing this video, for some reason, the second half of the draft is just corrupt. You guys didn't really miss much, but I do want to show you my entire lineup. So we're sitting at an 80 overall. The preseason is now over, so you guys will notice that some players did improve a little bit. Quarterback, we got Money Mitch. You guys saw that pick. Running backs, we got Hines. We got Fournette. We got McKinnon. Wide receivers, we got AJ Brown, Darius Slayton, Jamal Agnew. Something interesting about this guy, he's only a 71 overall, but he's got the super start dev trait and he's got abilities we actually have evasive on him hopefully that's somebody that can make plays for us you know punt returns kick returns we're gonna need it because our offense is not very good tight end we got trey burton the best part about our team is definitely the defense we got montez sweat who's just gonna wreak havoc we got lawrence guy who's kind of gonna be like our defensive tackle number two next to michael pierce and that's because opposite of sweat we're gonna have shaquille barrett cornerbacks we got stefan gilmore barrett Maddox, Greedy Williams, and Troy Brown. Free safety, we do have Jesse Bates, who's up to a 90 overall. Strong safety, we got Jamal Adams, Marcus May, and then where's he at? Troy Apke, who is just a user legend. He's 6'1", 94 speed, 96 acceleration, and 94 agility. And we might have the best special teams in the league. We got Justin Tucker for our kicker and Johnny Hecker for our punter. I'll show you guys some other teams in the league to kind of give you like, you know, a feel for how other teams drafted. So we'll look at the Patriots because, you know, it's my squad and the YouTuber franchise. So he's got some old linemen, James Robinson. Let me see, who's his quarterback? He's got Justin Herbert, so he went with a young guy. And he's got a young running back as well, so they're going to improve as the year goes on. Wide receivers like AJ Green, T. Higgins. That is something you guys will notice is every single team has weak spots, like all over. You see his cornerbacks, he's got Justin Coleman, Malcolm Butler, Legereus Sneed. Raiders, they got Joey Bosa, DeCastro, Richard Sherman, Carson, Drew Brees, Ryan Kelly, Chase Young. I wanted him. It's nice to see another team that doesn't have that good of a quarterback. So the Lions got Sam Darnold. 
Joe Mixon, Sony Michelle for the running backs, wide receiver, Scary Terry. He's got the 95 JJ Watt, who I want to say was actually his first round pick. Byron Jones as his CB1, Steven Nelson. Free safety, he's got Jimmy Ward, strong safety. He's got Keanu Neal. I want to say Walker is the highest overall in the league with like an 82 overall draft. Next time I catch you guys in the series, it'll be like week two or week three. I will have to play some of the games away from my setup. But whatever you guys miss, I'll be sure to give you guys a recap. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.